Hi, my name is Maggie Copes. I'm an aerospace engineer and welcome to the Beach Wind Tunnel at Wichita State University. Today we're going to talk about why golf balls have dimples. So one of the biggest problems with a golf ball or anything that flies through the air is drag. Drag is caused by two things, skin friction or pressure. Skin friction um, is due to what we call boundary layer, which is air that flows over the ball but sticks to the ball, which creates a layer of air that resists other air and creates friction. Um, that boundary layer can be laminar and turbulent. Laminar is very smooth, uh, layers of air flowing over, and turbulent is all those layers are mixed together to create um, a very turbulent thing. Um, so laminar flow has a thinner boundary layer and less skin friction than a turbulent, but turbulent flow is more likely to hold on to that ball and that surface as long as it can. So, which is important when we go to pressure drag. So pressure drag is created by separation of flow from the ball. So flow will flow over your ball and hit some point where the pressure will start pushing your velocity backwards. And when it pushes your velocity backwards, it creates a pressure wake drag in the back of your ball, which um, will, push every, will push your air back or pull your air backwards opposed to pushing it forwards. So, which is really cool because I got to do some flow visu visualization in the tunnel this past summer and it's a really cool representation because they put, um, they put, they put smoke over my head <laughs> and then that smoke along with part of my hair flew off of my head opposed to like the other half of my hair which kind of stuck back onto my head and so you could see that pressure pushing my hair back and the pressure, um, or in the air taking the other half of my hair away. So, we want to reduce um, drag pressure as much as possible, which means we can afford a little bit of extra drag from the turbulent opposed to the laminar. Um, so you want to delay that separation, and which means you need some turbulent flow, which means you need to, what we do, trip the object. So tripping is just making that laminar flow turbulent and that turbulent flow will never go back to laminar. So the way they do that with golf balls is a dimple. And the dimple immediately will trip that flow and it will hold on as long as it possibly can until it flies off um, to create that inevitable pressure drag. But a smooth ball will flow over but come off much, much quicker than it will with a dimpled ball. So that's why we have dimples. And actually a smooth ball creates two times more drag than a dimpled ball. But that drag does not create lift lift is created by the spin of the ball, but that is a lesson for another day. And done.